Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jefferson Tan speaking. In this channel, I provide you guys with the latest news regarding the booming Chinese EV industry as well as some car reviews including but not only limited to NIO, Xpeng, BYD and Li Auto. A little bit about myself, I'm a big EV supporter. I personally drive an Xpeng P7 and Xpeng G3 and I've booked a Tesla Cybertruck as well as a NIO ET7. And these three companies happen to be the leading companies in tech that actually provide practical autonomous driving solutions and by autonomous driving I mean more like assistant driving because up until today none of these companies products can achieve autonomous driving that completely discard the human interventions. So today I am in Guangzhou where Xpeng's headquarters locates to try out their NGP, their latest beta version. What is NGP? NGP stands for Navigation Guided Pilot. It's Xpeng's highway solution for their autonomous driving. It aims to achieve autonomous driving from point A to point B on the highway based on navigations. And Xpeng claims to have the autonomous driving experience that knows the Chinese roads the best. And let's find out how they're doing that today. And before we actually get to test drive the NGP, we gotta do a little test. And then I want to do a quick introduction of the people in this car. So I am Jefferson Tan, and this one is Dr. Ma, and he's a project director in the autonomous driving department in Xpeng. And this one is Mark Andrews. He's a C he's an over 10 years experienced senior car reviewer. In terms of tests that we gotta do, I think it's very necessary because when accidents happens, the media, the society will blame the car company instead of the car drivers who could be misusing the autonomous driving because they're ignorant of what's going on. Okay, first we gotta navigate to our destination, which is a service center. And the beautiful part is that the navigation sound is played from this headrest speaker. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So I wanna quickly go over the hardware for this beautiful machine. It has five high precision millimeter wave radar, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and 14 cameras with 13 of them involved in NGP external cameras and NVIDIA Xavier driver computing platform that delivers 30 trillion calculations operations per second as well as the Bosch iBooster braking system so together it can deliver autonomous driving solution that combines both vision and decimeter level HD map in collaboration with AMAP aka Galdo map that can support centimeter level localization positioning even under rainy or windy weather Okay, the test we're gonna do today includes automated getting on or off the highway, automated lane swapping, automated highway swapping, automated overtaking, construction detection, and roadblock detections, and also speed sign recognition and auto adjusting speed according to the limit. Entire video is quite long, and here are some highlights. Xpo NGP Auto Lane Merging doesn't require double confirmation. This might have a lot more significant impact on the experience than how it sounds like. Five seconds after I turn on the NGP, seeing it executes its auto merging efficiently, accurately, and seamlessly, everything was done instantly, like how I would merge into the highway myself without double confirmation at all. I knew they have stepped up their game to give driver the best experience possible. If I gotta double confirm every decision, then I am essentially paying 120% attention that just maybe sitting an intelligent auto driving system that forces me to react to its request and context switching me from my dream of becoming the richest man in the world. Yeah, the kind of dream I have when I'm driving and I do that a lot. The second point is that Xpo Auto raises the NGP speed to 120 km per hour upon entering the highway just in time. When I was supposed to merge from the highway from the ramp that had a speed limit of 60, it changed the speed limit of my car aiming for that 120 km per hour. And the third point is that Xpeng's NGP does offer a high driving scenario coverage rate. It covers pretty much all the road conditions including but not only limited to large curvature, construction and tunnels. Tunnels particularly are challenging for the current solutions where it gets pretty normal for cars to lose GPS signals. So for Xpeng, their solution implements HD map, localization, and HD positioning to maintain the NGP's functionality even under such road conditions. The fourth point is their smooth highway exiting. While exiting the highway, P7 acted seamlessly, merging into the anticipated lane beforehand just in time, slowing down the speeds and asking for a manual takeover upon reaching the destination while maintaining its LCC. Last but not least, the P7 provides a quite articulate experience in terms of general auto merging decision making and execution. The basic logic through my observations are 
default driving on the leftmost lane. 5 to 10 seconds after following the car in the front and realizing it could be driving faster, it'll auto swap lane and overtake and merge back only if it's safe to do so. And this brings us to the third point. While trying to auto merge but the target lane has a car speeding behind, it's not gonna just cancel the merging intention. Instead, it'll automatically slow down, wait until the car passes, and merge. This is a big plus and prevented a collision from my actual experience. If that was me driving, I'd probably just merge the lane without realizing this aggressive driver came out behind my back all of a sudden, which could cause a collision. Upon recognizing some roadblocks or large truck, you know, proactively slow down in case some bad stuff happens. The fifth point is that it knows the speed limit really well, and it won't actually change the speed limit to 40 like the sign suggests as a recommendation to cause congestions while trying to swap highways. And last, no unnecessary auto merging. In conclusion, I didn't have the need to intervene at all throughout the entire test road for P7, which contained a shitload of constructions, congestions, aggressive drivers, highway swappings. And I do have the confidence that even if we prolong the trip to three hours, it'll require human interventions for less than three times or not at all. Everything together, it does give me a strong feeling of how I hired a reliable artificial driver. Oh, and the guy from the camera car came down and the first question they asked me, were you driving the entire time? They thought I was driving the whole time because to them as witnesses from outside, it was too hard to believe the car was driving by itself. Okay, back to real life. A lot of EV owners won't actually use the autonomous driving system as much as the company would expect, as a lot of them won't actually buy the package. But with Xpose and GP costing only $3,000 and its outstanding performances, I would expect it to significantly change the way people drive, at least on the highway. At the end, my experiences and opinions might have some flaws due to the limited time and chances to deep dive into each system. But as a P7 car owner, I am super excited to embrace the NGP. I also love Model 3 and how it drove a car revolution and inspired so many good products. Surely there are competitions, but the competitions are always to push them to be better. For respect to Tesla, for respect to Xcom, and for respect to Neo and other car companies that are actually competing in this extremely challenging lane. Now, Tell me how you think about NGP. Next up, I'd like to do a bit introduction on Xpon CEO He Xiaopeng for you to better know Xpon, not just in their products and also their background. Also, we will have Neo ES8 car review coming up soon. Stay tuned. Peace.